Hello YouTube, it's Wei. I'm back from my vacation in Costa Rica. What an amazing country. It was my first time and I really had a wonderful time there. So today I wanted to show you all the travel journal I did while I was there in my traveler's notebook. First of all, I took the notebook uh, with me in my backpack basically everywhere I went so that I could do a little drawing or painting whenever I had the time, even just for 5 or 10 minutes. Um, actually, I finished the entire booklet and I, I don't know, I'll probably do a flip through at the end of this video. So I'm going to go through from the first day uh, of my vacation, I'm just going to go through uh, um, everything page page by page. Uh, the first thing is a little, a very simple map that I drew. Uh, I think it was the night before my departure, just to uh, just to draw the itinerary of my flight from Paris to Panama City to San Jose, Costa Rica, and. When we arrived in San Jose, it was pretty late at night, 8 or 9 o'clock, so we checked into uh, this guest house near the airport called Airport Garden or Florida Mayo. Um, I, put a little, I put a little journal card here because uh, I need a little pocket to, to put these in. This is something that I took from the front desk like an introduction of the guest house. Uh, it's, it was a really, really lovely little B&B, by the way. And I got the also the business card from the owner, Carol. She's a very, very nice lady. And uh, she made us feel like, you know, we were staying with a friend, not just in a hotel, airport, um, in an airport hotel or something like that. So, and I wrote on the journal card, the little impression of the hotel. At the bottom, I added this photo. I was supposed to add a photo of the hotel, uh, but I thought since there's already a photo here on their leaflet, uh, I just kind of, I added this photo I took of the owner's two dogs. They were just really nice dogs and I, I played with them and um, I don't know, <laughs> I wanted to remember them. So I have the photo here. And uh, I drew a little line at the bottom uh, wherever I want to add a photo. And I also wrote uh, like what kind of photo I will be adding here so that you know when I got back I would know which photos to print out. Uh, because obviously I wasn't able to do that during my trip. And uh, we took a taxi. Uh, it was kind of a road trip and we headed to the south, to the Manuel Antonio area and the taxi driver uh, stopped at several spots on the way for us to like take photos and buy a smoothie and maybe buy some fruits. So uh, there's also a photo with the background of the Costa Rican coastline and uh, and we also stopped at a bridge where we could uh, where we saw some crocodiles down the bridge and uh, the cab driver explained us, you know, uh, he told us some stories about the, the crocodiles and how the locals gave them uh, quirky names, like there was this really huge crocodile that they named Osama Bin Laden and there was another <clears throat> another one just laying next to him and they called him Chavez, <laughs> so I thought it was really funny, I just wrote down the name and uh, this this drawing uh, was actually done later on because I just I took the photo, uh, took some photos of the Crocs, and <clears throat> I wasn't able to do it there because because there were so many cars and it was on a bridge and there were like tourists around. So we arrived in our hotel in Manuel Antonio area, which is called Gaia Hotel. So I put a photo here. This is the view from the restaurant. And I also drew a little uh, sign of the hotel entrance. And the afternoon we just walked around the hotel area, hotel property, because it's next to, or should I say the hotel actually owns their um, private reserve. So we saw animals 
all the time, like just roaming around the hotel property. So on that in the afternoon, we saw these animals. I just kind of um, did a drawing of all the animals that we saw. Uh, there was scarlet macaw, the black iguana, the sloths. They were so cute, and lots of um, TT monkeys. It's actually not capuchin monkeys. It's a mistake. So, yeah, uh, these paintings were done also in the hotel room because it was hard <laughs> to um, draw animals right then and there it's impossible to ask them to pose for you so that's the only way <laughs> to do that and uh, the next day I'll do a little swimming in the hotel pool and that's kind of the view from one of the, the pools uh, also, we um, saw. Oh, I saw a sloth that came, uh, that climbed down the tree and actually onto the the pavement. So it was pretty lucky because the employee told us that it's a rare, very rare occasion that they would um, come to the ground. So I took lots of selfies with him behind me. So cute. Um, let me see. Oh, and then we went to uh, this beach called Playa Biasan, so I'm pretty sure that I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Anyway, um, it's a beach not very far from the hotel, so I just sort of drew a map to show how we went there. Halfway by cab, halfway by foot. <laughs> um, this is a very quick sketch that I, that I did actually on the beach because I took it with me so that I was able to do that and uh, um, I, I thought it would be, I, well I took photos too but I thought it would be you know more fun if I could just paint <laughs> what I saw and the next day I did a little plein air painting uh, in the hotel in the hotel because uh, they got this you know, flowers all around. I actually did it in my watercolor sketchbook, which I'll show you later on. And then we went to the butterfly and reptile garden. So I did this when I think when I got back to the room, um, I just sort of took a photo of it, and um, I wanted to put just directly the photo, but I I had the time, and I thought, <laughs> you know, I could. I could um, draw and paint instead of just taking a photo, so why not? And I just wrote a little bit of the activities there. And then we went to a restaurant called Seafood Grill. Um, it was actually something <laughs> Seafood Grill, but I couldn't remember the name. And we had some fish. I didn't, um, I didn't paint it on the table because I didn't want my fish to get cold, so I just took a photo of it. And then, as usual, um, finished the painting in the hotel room. Oh, this, uh, oh, I think I did this one um, in the restaurant after after I finished because this is the view from the restaurant. Um, it's, it's, it's a really nice view and I wanted to just get a really sketchy painting <laughs> of it just to remember where I was. You can see that it lacks kind of, it lacks many details, but it's alright. And I added a journal card where I could write some something. Um, sometimes, you know, when I have, when I do lots of paintings and drawings, there's just not enough space for me to write, so I brought with me several um, journal cards like this. Okay, so on this day, um, let me see. <laughs> I got this leaf from the, I think it was on the terrace, uh, or the, the, yeah, the terrace of our room. Um, it's just an ordinary leaf, but I thought it would be like a nice souvenir <laughs> of Costa Rica. And I also uh, put this package, this green tea package here. This is the green tea that I drink every morning. And uh, here's a little paper. Um, with some contact information of two Canadians that we met in the hotel. 
um, they were really nice people and we and we started talking so we chatted for a long time and then, then we went to the bar for a drink so that was really really fun um, so we, we exchanged uh, contact information to like stay in touch it's actually uh, you know one of my favorite parts of traveling is that you meet you, you know you talk to different people from all over the world and uh, that's really interesting uh, okay, so for lunch I had barbecue burgers and I just did like a two minute drawing of the burgers. In the afternoon we went for went for a uh, mangrove boat trip and these two <laughs> paintings are also done in the room because uh, I was in a boat so <laughs> it was a little hard for me to paint. Um, in a boat so I just took photos and uh, <laughs> a little snake in my hand because our guide um, saw this little snake swimming in the river where there were lots of boats, tourist boats so he just took the snake uh, he was allowed to do that because he's a, a certified naturalist um, so he got the snake and he told us he wanted to put it somewhere far away from all the tourists and he even let me hold it for a little while and on the back I just wrote down the name of the snake cat eyed snake it's actually quite cute, it's got eyes like cat, like a cat and on this day we went to Manuel Antonio Park which is the national park not far away from the hotel and uh, we met a really nice Australian guy in the tour bus and we and we and we chatted all the way. He was a really really funny guy, hilarious. So we also exchanged emails and uh, contact infos and we got a group photo. Just put it here and uh, this is the uh, the entrance ticket stub and some space for me to journal and in the park I think I saved a little, this is like a tree bark or, yeah, tree bark from from a, um, from a plant that our guy told us was the natural insect repellent. I couldn't remember the name of the plant so I just sort of put it in here. Uh, and this is a painting of the, um, of the private beach in the Manuel Antonio Park. And I don't remember if I if I did it on the beach or back in the hotel. Mm, yeah, probably <laughs> back in the hotel. But anyway, even if I like I did a painting of something, I always I always took a um, a picture after so that I could you know keep it <laughs> at least a photo. Um, the next day we went for a nature walk in the in the hotel's reserve uh, there were macaws so I just I didn't take any photo um, there because I didn't take my my camera um, it was not an easy hiking route so yeah so I just tried to I I remember I went back to the room I tried I closed my eyes and I tried to remember the things that I saw uh, they got tires on the floor to make it easier for walking and of course jungle <laughs> big trees everywhere and they have this project for uh, the macaws so yeah that's basically <laughs> just my you know the the reserve in in my head that I try to draw out and went for a swim in the hotel pool and then there was storm in the in the afternoon so the next day we went to Capos Town. Uh, you can see that for the main activity of the, of that day, I always write in the same style so that it's kind of like a theme of the day. Uh, I saved this little business card of the restaurant we went to. I had a pineapple and banana smoothie, which was really yummy. And that's the the marina. I actually started. Uh, drawing while I was there but then uh, it it started raining <laughs> so, I, so I had to pack everything up and and hurry and went back to the hotel uh, so yeah before I, I before I left I took a photo so that I could finish the 
the painting in the hotel. And this is a painting of the, <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call it a painting, like a sketch of the farmer's market that we went to where we bought some um, fruits. And sometimes I did paintings not because they, uh, the view was particularly beautiful or that the subject was um, you know, really worth painting. It's just uh, my way of trying to remember where I was and the things that I saw on that day. Uh, this one, I didn't, uh, there's no date. Oh yes, there is. So this is a lazy day because it ran uh, almost the entire afternoon. So uh, we just went to lunch in the hotel, in the hotel restroom, and this is the view from the, from the, um, restroom? Did I say restroom? <laughs> uh, from the restroom. Uh, because it's built on a like a top of a of a hill so you've got a really nice view overlooking uh, the mountains and the the Capos town in the distance and the jungles um, and then it's probably the next day we went to the beach the main beach called Playa Espadilla and I did this one I think I did this one on the beach because we rented um, some beach chairs and umbrella so I was able to stay there for the entire uh, morning and I just did a little journaling well I think my battery is going to die, I better hurry up uh, the next day we went to uh, Rainmaker Forest and uh, you know they have lots of creeks and hanging bridges, I just got the photo the quality is not so good because I printed out um, onto copy paper, you know, with my regular printer, which I should have done with the CP900. So a little journaling, and uh, I saved a piece of um, leaf that, it feels like one of those leaves that, uh, bookmark leaves that you DIY at home. So it's really beautiful. I just put it in here. And uh, the afternoon we went for a couple's massage. And again, swimming. <laughs> and on this, oh, this is the last day and also the last page. So we had to say goodbye to Costa Rica and <clears throat> took the flight to go back. And it was the first time I took Copa Airlines, so I just saved the luggage tag. And I put a um, journal card here to write about our trip. And yep, that's pretty much everything. And that's the end of the of the trip. Uh, in my watercolor sketchbook, I have done some some sketches. You know, in in the hotel, this uh, these these sketches are done in the first guest house, and uh, you know, at the bar, and then I did this one based on a photo, and this is the. Um, the main beach, Espadilla. Uh, that's the view from the hotel pool. It's also built on a elevated ground, so you got a nice view overlooking the ocean. And that's the flower that I was painting in the hotel. Uh, I'm not really happy with this one, so I just sort of gave up on the at the end. That's somewhere in the hotel. Uh, this one is done at the at the pool, I think, and they had lots of flowers in the hotel, so I just, I like to walk around and do some plein air paintings, and this is a little raccoon that um, was roaming around, uh, you know, around the hotel rooms, and uh, he came several times to, on our terrace, and that's the iris, a type of iris they had in the, in the hotel, and they were really, really tiny but beautiful, so I wanted to paint them. And that's everything I had in my watercolor sketchbook. Um, I'll show you the complete tour when I finish the whole thing. And oh, I don't know if I have enough if I have enough time to show you the booklet, but if I don't, I will make another video to do it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if there's any questions, just leave me comments. 
always happy to read them. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, take care.